Welcome to TriMet 101. Today we're going to be talking about CTRAN, not TriMet. I've already done a video on my pros and cons for CTRAN, which I'll link up here, but after being on it quite a few more times since then, I've learned to really, really like CTRAN. Like, a lot. However, there are some OCD triggering things that CTRAN does that just make things deliberately confusing. So let's begin with the regional routes. Conveniently, these are all numbered in the 60s, which is cool. I don't have a problem with Route 65, so that one's off the hook. The idea for Route 60 is to take passengers between North Portland and take them into downtown Vancouver, a nice short bus ride, and the trips also serve Jansen Beach. But what's weird is 50% of the trips serve Jansen Beach. If it is before 12 o'clock p.m., northbound buses will serve Jansen Beach, and southbound buses will skip it. If it is after 12 o'clock p.m., southbound buses serve Jansen Beach, and northbound buses skip it. Why? What is that, what is its purpose? And doesn't it seem a little backwards to what commuters might want? A lot of people might work or live in the downtown Vancouver area and they end up maybe working at Jansen Beach. But no, the northbound buses out of the Delta Park Max station are the ones that service Jansen Beach in the morning and then go into downtown Vancouver. The people in Vancouver skip over it on their way into Portland. That makes no sense to me. So to simplify, if you live in Vancouver and work at Jansen Beach, you got to take Route 60 all the way to Delta Park and then board another one that goes northbound into Jensen Beach. It's kind of dumb. But there's one very, very simple solution to this. All trips serve Jensen Beach. Done. Northbound trips serve it. Southbound trips serve it. That's it. Just have every trip in both directions go to Jensen Beach. It's not that big of a deal. The 67 is also kind of weird. It goes between Fisher's Landing and Portland Airport, whereas the 65 goes between Fisher's Landing and the Park Rose Summer Transit Center Max Redline Station. There are a grand total of eight round trips, four in the afternoon and four more late at night. I don't really understand who this bus is designed for. I mean, maybe it's meant to be for the airport workers, but why are there no morning trips? Technically, it doesn't really need to exist at all. Like I said, you can just take Route 65 to Park Row Summer Transit Center and then hop on a red line train to the airport. That's just a few more stops. I guess for convenience, why not? Let's have the 67 exist. But what if you work at the airport, like you need to be there in the morning? Well, if it's designed to get you home in the afternoon time of 2, 3 o'clock p.m., why aren't there morning trips? Who is this designed for? Why does... What, what is this? The solution to this? Just add some morning trips, and unless a lot of people actually use the nighttime trips, I would say you might be able to get rid of those. I doubt those are highly used. If they are, maybe keep the ones that are most widely used, but I highly doubt people are just going to be traveling from Portland Airport to Fisher's Landing Transit Center at 11.30 at night. It's really weird. Express route time. Again, these are pretty easy to identify because they're all numbered in the 100s. And once again, one route is off the hook, the 190. Although I do have one weird comment about the 190. Why does it just end at a random park and ride? I mean, sure, if people use it, then who cares? I have not done the 190 yet. I've been wanting to do that one for a while, so I can't really comment too much on it. Routes 105 and 164 have another dumb quirk. Sure, maybe it makes the trip like a whole one or two minutes faster, but what is the whole downtown Portland mess? If it's before 12 o'clock p.m., buses come into Portland and use 5th Avenue and then end up going on the Markham Bridge and returning back to Vancouver. If it's after 12 o'clock p.m., the buses come in, cross the Markham Bridge, and go up 6th Avenue before returning back to Vancouver. 
What? What is the deal with the operation changes happening at noon? It makes it confusing to learn. You try and learn the system, it's like, why? So if I want to go from downtown Portland to downtown Vancouver, I'm going northbound to get there. I should board the bus on 6th Avenue because it's going northbound and the buses are going northbound. Not look at my watch and see if it's before noon or afternoon so that I know whether to go on 5th Avenue or 6th Avenue to board the friggin' bus. That makes no sense. If I want to go to Vancouver, I'll board on 6th Avenue to go northbound because that's the general direction it goes in. And if you're arriving in Portland, you're coming from the north and you're going southbound. 5th Avenue in downtown Portland goes southbound, so that should be the street you enter downtown Portland on. So the easiest fix here is really to just have the buses come off of I-5, serve Rose Quarter Transit Center, and cross the steel bridge and end up on 5th Avenue. The sign would say something like 105 Portland only or something, and there might even be a special announcement telling you, you know, Route 105 to Portland only. Board buses to Vancouver on 6th Avenue or something for maybe at least the first year or two. And then it would turn around, however that needs to happen, and end up on 6th Avenue, and as soon as it starts going on 6th Avenue, the sign would switch to the usual 105 to downtown Vancouver, 99th Street Transit Center, Salmon Creek Park and Ride. And same deal with the 164 through downtown Portland. It would no longer use the Markham Bridge at all. Make it simple. Route 164 could exit I-84 a little early and go through the Lloyd District. It depends on if you really want to stop at the Lloyd Center Mall. Maybe if this was 20 years ago, you probably would want to stop at the Lloyd Center, but it's kind of a dying mall at this point, and it's not really the best location for a C-Tran stop. But have it go down Multnomah Street anyways and serve the stop at Rose Quarter Transit Center and again over the Steel Bridge. That way both routes are serving Rose Quarter and going in through downtown Portland. 5th Avenue southbound, 6th Avenue northbound. Consistency. Make it simple. So I have additional route ideas and things that I'd like to talk about, but it would be more so a route planning thing. So I've saved it for a second part, which will go up next week, and you'll get to see what I'm talking about here. And then I actually have a third part to this that's going to go up after this, which has nothing to do with the regional or express routes or anything like that. But You'll just have to see what all that is. So this week, next week, and the week after will all be C-Tran videos, uh, C-Tran talking head videos like this. But next week's will be route planning for additional regional and express routes. But you'll just have to see what that is when we get closer. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.